Hey everybody, this is not a mailbag. I am actually doing a project for work and I decided that I would show you guys as much of it as I possibly can. Um, some of this stuff is gonna show up in a couple different videos, but for now, we're gonna open up this DigiKey box. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff for a project that I can't really talk about, but I can show you some of the cool stuff I got. Uh, so in here, we open this up. And let's see what we got. I have not ordered from DigiKey since like the 90s. So uh, I'm new to this, but <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This is a bunch of boards. And uh, we've got some resistors that we're gonna deal with later. But uh, for now, we have a bunch of boards. Now the reality is I don't need to come in here and open all these because, in fact, I am gonna leave those together now because what is in there is this. Now, um, this is not a sponsored video, although Olimax did send me this one. Um, these are 25 uh, ESP32 PoE ISO, and you've probably heard me talk about these a few times on the channel, so I won't bore you too much, but they have battery management, they have an ethernet jack, they have power over ethernet, which means the entire board can be powered by your ethernet cable, assuming that you have PoE capabilities, you have some normal GPIO, and you have this UEXT jack. And um, that's just kind of a quick way to hook some stuff up. And so we're gonna get into that in just a little bit. And you can see that it's got a micro USB port. But this is one of my favorite boards. And uh, I've talked about using the rugged circuits um, mega board which i actually have that right here so when i need to do industrial applications with an arduino um i use this rugged circuits mega and i have this plc um shield on it now i'm going to be putting this one actually in the same project that these things are for but when i want an esp32 this is the one i go to and i believe in it so much that i put my money where my mouth was and bought 25 of them now as i mentioned um, the reason I bought 25 of them is because of this. Now, you guys have seen plenty of people open up sponsored uh, PCBs on YouTube, and this is actually not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, that said, PCB Way is sponsoring some of my future videos, and uh, so I'm excited, but I went through the process on my own to buy this. Now, full disclosure, I did have YouTuber Simple Electronics design these boards for me. And um, if you are looking for some basic boards to be uh, designed, I highly recommend you contact him. And uh, he whipped out 25 boards for me. Actually, I mean, he whipped out one and I had PCB Way make 25 of them. So these are the boards. I can't get into everything it does. Um, but when you buy boards and are not a professional YouTuber, this is what you get. Um, you don't get a pen, I guess. Um, but so I have these boards here and uh, let's see, M3 mounting 35 by 35 millimeter. And as you can see here, we can't get into everything that's going on, but as you can see, we've got some uh, buttons over here, some places to probe and a place to put this same exact uh, connector. So I'm gonna build one of these up and we're gonna see what we got. All right, so it's been a couple days since I unboxed this stuff and uh, I went through, I soldered all of them. My wife went through and uh, checked them all under the microscope, fixed a little couple soldering mistakes. It took about two hours or something like that to solder them all, uh, not too bad. And then I've been playing with these boards. I've been programming them and all that kind of stuff. And I have to say, just overall, I'm really happy with the decisions I made. So I wanna give you, you know, kind of full disclosure as a customer, because normally I'm doing these things as a reviewer. But as a customer, um, I went online and I took the Gerber files that Simple Electronics sent me. We went back and forth about exactly how it needed to be built. I went on to pcbway.com. I selected all the just most basic options. The only real option I checked was that if they had gold on there and they wanted to give me gold for free, I would take it. Um, but other than that, I placed the boards and the order and I had them shipped relatively quickly. Um, so total all in, not as a YouTuber, just as John Q Public, no coupons or anything like that. I spent $44 to have 25 boards um, made and delivered. Now, again, I probably could have come up with coupons and all that kind of stuff, but not bad at all. They got here in about a week 
and every single one of them was perfect. So, um, so that's awesome. So uh, I've been playing around with this thing and uh, I've been really, really happy. Now this isn't the first time I've used Olimex boards, but I've used them for a lot of different things. Now, um, to explain my use case as much as I can, uh, essentially I'm gonna be programming these things from my office in Florida. And um, I will do a video in the future about, if you're interested, on how to, um, you know, remotely program these things in particular. So there's a lot of over the air updating sketches for ESP32, but because this has ethernet, it's a little bit different. So um, I've written some sketches, some sketches that I can open source if you guys have any interest in that for over the air programming of these things. But essentially these are gonna be programmed uh, here and then I can update them from anywhere in the world. So my plan is, is um, <clears throat> round one is gonna use these little connectors here and we're gonna connect to the UEXT. Uh, round two, what I think I'm gonna do is also make a base for this thing where this thing will sit on a base and will break out more of the GPIO because right now this is the uh, sort of the minimum viable product to do what I need it to do. And uh, so as far as the Olimex boards go, let's let's kind of take a look at this. So um, I love the fact that I can use these things in multiple form factors. Let me unplug this here for a second. I love the fact, this is my basic board. This is the one I'm gonna use 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, but if I need something that has some relays or even infrared or other things like that, I do have the option of switching over to this, um, to this EVB. This is an ESP32 EVB and it has the relays and the uh, CAN bus broken out and uh, several different power options and you know that kind of stuff. There's infrared over here, we're sending and receiving. And so I do love having those options there, but for the most part, this is the go-to. Now, what I love about this is the fact that if I want to, I can plug into my custom board and uh, allow this to get plugged in and I can come over here and do my power over ethernet. You'll see I'm just plugging in a single wire and that will give it all of the power and uh, everything it needs to fire up the display test. That 100 on there means this is the 100th uh, of these in the set. Um, so anyway, I have uh, this thing working. Now I'm gonna be making some changes to future revisions, but essentially this does everything I need it to do. And now if you think about it, uh, again, I'm a thousand miles away. So the idea that I can just tell somebody, hey, plug in the ethernet, plug in this cable and you are good to go, you know, give them a couple of instructions on plugging these other two cables, uh, you're good to go is fantastic. Now, what I also like is that as a whole, there's a lot of flexibility with this UEXT form factor. So again, I can break out the standard um, ESP32 pins, but I also have things like, let's say I wanna upgrade to a full LCD. This is a 2.8 inch. There's also a 4.3 inch uh, version of it. And I can come in here and fire it up and the PoE can power both of them and I have a full LCD and this is a touchscreen. Uh, so there's really cool options for that when I need it. Um, there's other kinds of sensors and things like that that I can plug in here. But what I really love is the fact that this connector can actually be repurposed. So it has standard and you'll, you'll see some of the definitions on here. You'll see that it has Mozzie and Miso and all that kind of stuff. These are going to this connector here, but um, most of these can also be used as standard GPIO pins as well. You just reprogram them in software. So just as far as I'm concerned, in an industrial application, I can take these boards and I can get them on the ground and um, deploy them. And then I really have a lot of flexibility for how I'm gonna use them from them. And, and the connectors and stuff like that that I use for them, they're super cheap. Uh, these little four pin connectors, these little connectors all available on Amazon. I can get them all primed, I can get them all delivered quickly. And that's just a fantastic thing when you need ultimate flexibility. So um, yeah, to summarize it up, really happy with my choice of PCB Way. really happy of my choice to use simple electronics you know, if you need a widget like this, I highly recommend you reach out to him and uh, tell him what you need and see what he can do. Um, the Olimex stuff has been great. I've had it deployed around the world, I, I guess for two or three years now I've been using the boards overall. But, um, oh, I do wanna say one other thing. 
Uh, compared to most of the other stuff on the market, you can get these in quantity. Um, they're made in Europe, but they're actually sourced when you buy them online, either from the Olimex website, or you can go right to DigiKey and Mauser. They stock them by the thousands. So um, one of the reasons I went with this board is because if I'm going to spend the effort on building the infrastructure, I want to make sure I have supply. So, I mean, I have contacts at Alimex. At Alimex. I have um, the ability to order them from Mauser or DigiKey. Uh, these actually came from DigiKey. And then on top of that, it's open source. So if worse comes to worse, if the entire board went away, uh, my company isn't stuck because I can actually have these boards produced on my own. Not saying it'd be cheap, but I can do it. And it may be cheaper than Reed engineering some of our boxes. So, um, overall can't say enough good stuff about all these things i've had some mailbags and some other things where i haven't been thrilled with the stuff but i am absolutely thrilled with the uh olimex poe and the boards and even this this evb board so anyway i appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you're interested in this kind of stuff let me know and i will make some sketches available to you and uh, there's some amazing stuff you can do with these two things so hey have a great day thanks for watching